of fun, we've got a ton, it's catapult, catapult, join our bunch, eat your lunch, it's catapult, catapult, the whole point of our show is to make you smile, we've got style on trial for many a mile, so come on let's go, let's let it flow, it's cool, it's new, and the name of our show is T-A-T-A-P-U-L-T, If you were invisible for a day, what would you do? I would try and stay in recess the whole time. Cool. I would probably go around and like steal candy from other people. I would probably scare people and pretend to be a ghost. I would go to people's houses and like haunt them. If you were invisible for a day, what would you do? I would steal all the homework passes. Awesome. I would bring people. And I would go to my children's schools and watch what they're like during the day. So I'd go to the Mashpee Middle School to watch my daughter Grace, who's in seventh grade, and then I would go to UMass Amherst and watch my 18-year-old. I would sneak into people's houses, not being stalkerish though, and see what they do. But not being stalkerish, I'm not that person. Interesting. I would spy on my sister. Nice. If you were visible for a day, what would you do? I would sneak up on everyone. Uh, it seems like someone's about to sneak up on you, just saying. I would go trick-or-treating and steal everybody's candy. I would set off my dad's car alarm. If I were invisible for a day, I would give my students nuggies and they wouldn't know who was doing it. <laughs> uh, going through walls because it would be cool. Cool. If I were invisible for a day, I would steal all the soda from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> What is your creepiest laugh? Gordon, what is your creepiest laugh? Um <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's how you play the Wheel of Misfortune. There's good and there's bad. 
And now let's meet our contestants, April and June Montgomery. Tell us about yourselves. Well, we live in Oklahoma and we have two piggies at home named Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Hi Tweedledee and Tweedledum, are you watching? Mommy and I are here on TV! Go. It's time to spin the wheel. Looks like you're going to the ocean. There was some fortune and some misfortune for you. Let's meet our next two contestants, Luna and Lindsay Edlington. you want to tell the crowd? Well, one thing most people don't know about us is we have a pet chimpanzee. His name is Larry. Time to spin the wheel of this fortune. Looks like you're going to the North Pole. I'm on an iceberg! Help! Ooh, it's chilly in there. You gotta bundle up. Let's meet our next contestants. Bart and Chuck Bundy. Is there something most people don't know about you? We secretly like posting kitty cat videos on the internet. Aww. Okay, time to spin the wheel. Hey, you guys are going on a safari. I'm here on an African safari, and right behind me, there is a rhino. A big, gray, mean rhino. Time for our last two contestants, Pixie and Trixie. Trixie, where are you from? We're from Sparkle Valley, California. And is there something unusual about you two? We love One Direction. I love you, Liam. And every Saturday, we mud wrestle. wrestle. All right, time to spin the wheel. Oh, you're going to a concert. I got sent to a Wiggles concert. That's the end of this show. Thanks for playing. I'm Mr. Fortune. I'm Miss Fortune. Signing off from the Wheel of Miss Fortune.